Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this easy and simple seaside dishcloth. This dishcloth is in two different sizes so I have the small size which is 7x7 seven seven. and if you want it to be a little bit bigger I have the large size which is an 8x8 eight eight dishcloth. I used three different colors for this and I really wanted something fun and summery and beachy so this is where the seaside dishcloth comes from. Now you can also use this as a washcloth. You do not have to use this purely for a dishcloth. You can switch it up and use it as a washcloth as well. Either way it would be very pretty. This is a very easy and beginner friendly pattern using beginner stitches. So I hope you enjoy today's tutorial on how to make the seaside dishcloth. Let's get started. So for today's tutorial, I'm using a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to need some 100% cotton yarn. Now the yarn that I'm using is Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And I'm using three different colors. You can make this dishcloth in one color. You can change up the colors and make it striped. You can do whatever you like, but this is what I wanted to make my dishcloth. So again, this is Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And the first color I use is Deep Teal. And each skein is 100% cotton. It's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards, or 165 meters. And it is a four worsted weight yarn, machine wash and dryable, and the recommended hook size is a US I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And again, I'm using deep teal, aqua, and of course white. Now this is what I have left over after making the two different sizes. So you could definitely get at least three of the smaller size dishcloths out of one skein. Or I feel like you can make one big dishcloth and two smaller ones out of one skein of yarn. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much yarn you're going to be using up. Again, you can change up the colors to whatever you would like. But this is just what I would prefer to use for my seaside dishcloth. So I'm just going to use my aqua color today. And for the dishcloth, you're going to make a chain of 28. Now if you're making the smaller dishcloth, you're going to be making a chain of 28. And if you want to use the larger dishcloth, you're going to make a chain of 32. So again, chain 28 for the smaller and chain 32 for the larger dishcloth. So to make a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through the loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Continue until you have your desired chain length and I will meet back up with you for row one. Okay, I have my 28 chains and if you did want to make this in a completely different size than the two sizes I'm providing, you can definitely do that. There's no set amount of chains that you need to make. So just chain into your desired width and begin row one after that. So to start row one, you're going to make one half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. You're going to count two chains from your hook. So one and two. And in that second chain, you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is your first half double crochet. You're going to make one half double crochet in each of the chains across. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, 
pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Again, in that next chain, yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you're going to continue making one half double crochet in each of the chains across. When you get to the end, I will show you how to move on to row two. Okay, so I finished my first row. And this is what your half double crochets are going to look like. Now if you are a super beginner, I highly recommend getting a stitch marker and putting it in the very last stitch as well as the very first stitch of your row. That way you can keep track of your beginning and end stitches and as you make more rows you will move that stitch marker up and then your ends will be even. So for row two, we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And in that very first stitch, we're going to go ahead and make a half double crochet. And you want to get both of those loops. And again, if you are using a stitch marker, you're going to move your stitch marker up to this first stitch right here. And then in each of the stitches across, you're going to make one half double crochet in the back loop only. So what I mean by this is if you turn your work, you can see your next stitch and you can see the two loops. You're going to work in this back loop right here only. So in order to do that, you're going to yarn over your hook, turn your work slightly, and you're going to kind of split the stitch a little bit and go in that back loop only and make your half double crochet as normal. And what this does is it forms a nice little ridge for your work. So again, yarn over your hook, turn your work slightly, go in that back loop only of that next stitch and make your half double crochet as normal. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're going to continue making one half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across except for the very last stitch. When you get to the very last stitch, you're going to make a regular half double crochet and that will just help secure the beginning and end of your dishcloth a little bit more. So make one half double crochet in each of the back loops of the next chain or the next stitches across and in the very last stitch you're going to make one half double crochet in both loops. So I will meet up with you and show you how to end row two and move on to row three. Okay, I have one last stitch of my row. And again, you're going to go in both loops. You're going to make your half double crochet in both loops, just like that. And you can see your second row is complete and you have that little bit of a ridge right here. So if you are making the smaller dishcloth size, you're going to repeat row 2 for a total of 16 rows. So rows 3 through 16, you're going to repeat row 2. If you are working on the bigger dishcloth, rows 3 through 18, you're going to repeat row 2. So for the smaller dishcloth, you're going to have a total of 16 rows. And for the larger dishcloth, you're going to have a total of 18 rows. So all you're going to do is, again, chain one and turn. In that very first stitch, you're going to make a regular half double crochet. And then in each stitch across, you're going to work one half double crochet into that back loop only until you get to that very last stitch where you're going to make a regular half double crochet. So you 
you want to make sure you grab that back loop and make your stitches in that back loop. So continue this until you have either a total of 16 rows or 18 rows depending on the size of your dishcloth. And once you have that, I will show you how to move on to the border of the dishcloth. Okay, so as you make more rows, you will see your pattern starting to form. And again, you have those nice ridges. So if you are completely finished with your dishcloth, you can do a border if you so choose. You do not have to make a border, but I really wanted to kind of end my dishcloth a little bit more and, and make it look a little bit neater. So if you are going to make the border after your either 16th row or your 18th row, you're simply just going to chain one and turn in in that very first stitch and in each stitch across the top of your dishcloth you're going to make a single crochet so you're going to insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops and you're going to repeat this all the way across so again one single crochet in the top of each stitch and you're going to go through both loops for this. You're not going to go in the back loop only. So continue making one single crochet across the top of your dishcloth. And when we get to our first corner, I will show you how to work the first corner. Okay, so I'm over at my first corner. And for my first corner, you're just going to put three single crochets all in that corner space. And that will help to round out your dishcloth nicely. And you're going to work along the side. So you're just gonna work one single crochet along the side of your dishcloth and you just wanna make it as even as possible. There's no set amount of stitches that you have to make. Just make sure it's as neat as possible. And then when you get to your next corner stitch, you're going to again make three single crochets in that corner stitch. Okay, when you get to the bottom, you're going to make one single crochet along the bottom. That next corner stitch, you're going to make three single crochets, one single crochet evenly across the side. And then when we get to this very last corner, I will show you how to finish that as well as finish your dishcloth. So again, one single crochet around the entire dishcloth, making three single crochets in each of the corner stitches. Okay, so I'm coming up to that last corner. So remember, we already made one single crochet in that corner. So you're going to make two more single crochets in that corner space. Okay, and then you're going to make a slip stitch in that first single crochet. And then you're gonna cut your yarn and weave in your ends. So if we go ahead and look at the dishcloth, this is what your completed dishcloth looks like. So you have those nice ridges again, like I said, by going in that back loop only. Here it is in that deep teal color. It is showing up a little bit brighter on my camera, but at least you can see the different ridges for each row. So again, this is a very easy and beginner friendly pattern. You can definitely whip up a bunch of these in no time. You can make these for um, cr upcoming craft fairs, or you can make this as a gift set for somebody or a housewarming gift. You can always put a set of three or four dishcloths together 
and pair it with a bottle of soap and put it in a little basket and that would be a cute little gift to give somebody. You can also make these in different colors so if you want to make some of these for the upcoming holiday season you can definitely do that in a bright red, white, and green. So the possibilities are endless with this and again I have the two different sizes but if you wanted to make this in a different size you can definitely do that as well. So thank you so much for joining me today on learning how to make the seaside dishcloth. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!